Oh, we just met Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy, and I got I got our autographs for our map collection. We are now going over to start walking around the World Showcase to do the Flower and Garden Festival stuff. So we have about what a little over two and a half hours until the park closes. Uh, yeah, the park closes at nine. So we're gonna seven. we're gonna randomly pick some stuff to sample. We don't really have a plan as to what we're gonna pick. I think it's just gonna be one of those things where we just go a boo -boo 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 down the menu. Let's try that. This is inside of the Odyssey. Look at Minnie. <laughs> and here is the pass holder merch. So you got a big wine glass. Is that actually made of glass? That is a plastic glass. That's a bit disappointing. I thought it was gonna be a real glass. <laughs> there's a couple of different versions of this. There's a mini one, and there's a goofy one. And we got some hats and a shirt. And over here in the corner we have kind of the history of their topiaries and how they made some of them. But I've got the globe out, ready to go for the illuminations. This is the toasted pretzel bread from the Germany Pavilion that has ham and Gruyere cheese. Plastic knife, plastic forks. I'm glad they're reducing their plastic usage. I'm smushing my half. There. So how can you go wrong with pretzel? Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Well, that's what it looks like on the inside. And they open it up like you could put like you could put all this topping stuff in it, but then they mush it on the top. So. Tastes like they like, like rubbed coffee on it or something. That's what I got. I mean, it tastes good. And we got the very last one. They said, after him, do not sell anymore. The question is, was it worth $5 and a quarter? Which was odd because they didn't charge tax. I mean, it was good. Was it $5 and a quarter good for a little pretzel roll? about the size of a small donut with a little bit of cheese and a little piece of ham on top. Nah. It tasted good, but definitely was not worth what we paid for it. So on to the next, whatever we choose to stop at. We're at the American Pavilion at their Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews. And look good to you? Nah. Okay. Thanks. Hi. So we decided to try the Frushi. It ooh. It ooh. <laughs> it's right, <started> moving. <laughs> it's fresh pineapple, strawberry, and melon rolled with coconut rice, sprinkled with toasted coconut, whipped cream with raspberry sauce on the side. This is the only way I will ever eat sushi. We would get chopsticks, except if we did, all of this would be on the ground. Because we'd be like, they just fly off. Probably would have been better with the whipped cream. Yep. Mm, there's coconut on that. Toasted coconut. What's that melon? Might be cantaloupe. Absolutely not. That is cantaloupe. And it is not quite ripe yet. It's very, very crunchy. Let me get the cantaloupe out of this one. Oh, the whipped cream. There you go. She's been talking about this all day. Then we got to the, the actual board, and she was like, you know it's not gonna be a whole lot. And it's like 595. And we're just not gonna get it. I made sure she got the free Alright, what do you give it? Two thumbs up. It was fun. It tasted good. Was it a little pricey? Yeah. You are in Disney. Everything's a little pricey. <laughs> Just know that you're getting three little pieces of frushi and a big glob of whipped cream with toasted coconut on it for six bucks. I told the lady that I did not want to butcher her language. It was something I could not pronounce, but I will try to pronounce it on camera. Canard confit a la Provencal? Basically, it's braised duck coffee. It looks like this. Mm -hmm. A big old hunk of cornbread there. 
It kind of tastes like cornbread and chicken. <laughs> I'm surprised because I've had duck before and it's almost like eating steak. This tastes like dark meat chicken. I mean, it tastes good. I was expecting it to taste like duck that I've had in the past though. It was $6. This is more food than any of the other stuff we've tried. I'll give it one of these. So a thumb up and a thumb sideways. So we got the violet lemonade. With a little flower on top that apparently is grown here. Illuminations is about to start. And we got an illegal straw. This is non alcoholic. But it is straight up sugar. Because illuminations, reflections of Earth. It's very tart. Yeah, so it's 425. It's good though. Yeah, and it's good. It's purple. So, so you're going to eat one of the flowers? You eat one. Well, I'm not eating one. Honestly, it kind of tastes like what's in that. I like it. I'd get it again. Yeah, that's fun. We got the beef brisket poutine. We hope you enjoy from, our story. From uh, the refreshment port near Canada. Of Earth. Here we go. And we get to hear illuminations in the background. It looks like it's got cheese whiz on it. It's a beer cheese sauce. Yeah, I can taste the beer in the cheese. Entertainment while we eat. I can definitely taste the crunchy onions. Me too. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot on it, but I think a lot of it is kind of like mushed down in it. So I bet if we were to like lift some of this up, yeah, it's like, it looks like it's kind of oozed down into the middle. Okay, what are your thoughts? This, 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 this. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. It was $9.58 after tax. I could eat this as a dinner by myself and be done with it. A meat, a side, and a cheese all in one. So. Illuminations is over. We're racing to the buses and go. I feel like I'm walking through a graveyard. Look at all these gigantic tombstones. The sweet cheese happens to always pick the resort that has the farthest away bus stop. We're literally like in the middle of nowhere. So it's the end of the day. We're back at our resort at the Love Bug building. We actually got back here at 940. We got on the first bus out of Epcot. Got home at a reasonable hour. That's the end of our day today. So until tomorrow, remember, no okay. cates. But while Brandon's gone, I'm just gonna eat this cheese that's on the side. Don't tell him I did that. It's like, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Uh-oh, you dropped everything out. I'm gonna put the back. Let me eat my brushy the way I want to eat my brushy.